Australia's Royal Australian Air Force has embarked on a comprehensive upgrade program for its fleet of 24 FA-18F Super Hornets, ensuring these multi-role fighters remain a cornerstone of its air combat capability through 2040. Initially acquired in 2007 as an interim solution to bridge the gap between the F-111 Aardvark and the F-35A Lightning II, the Super Hornets have proven their worth in operations like Okra against ISIS, and are now being enhanced to meet the evolving threats of the Indo-Pacific region. With a focus on lethality, survivability, and interoperability transcending geographical boundaries, the upgrades align the fleet with advanced U.S. Navy standards, integrate cutting-edge technologies, and extend the aircraft's service life, positioning the RAF to maintain a strategic edge in a contested geopolitical landscape. The cornerstone of the upgrade program is the potential adoption of the Block 3 configuration, which brings a suite of advanced capabilities to the Super Hornet. Discussions, notably during the 2023 Avalon Air Show, highlighted Australia's interest in this standard, though a formal commitment is pending. Key features include the ASG-34A V1 Block 2 infrared search and track pods, valued at $74 million, set for integration by late 2025. These pods enable the detection and tracking of stealth aircraft like China's Chengdu J-20 by their heat signatures, enhancing situational awareness and missile guidance in contested environments. The Block 3 package also introduces an advanced cockpit system with a 10.1-inch customizable touchscreen display, improving pilot interaction with critical data. Enhanced computing power through the distributed targeting processor network supports open mission systems, while tactical targeting network technology facilitates secure data transfer with platforms like the EA-18G Growler and E2G Hawkeye. Conformal fuel tanks extend the aircraft's range by approximately 222 kilometers without sacrificing aerodynamics, and a 10% reduction in radar cross-section bolsters survivability, though this benefit diminishes with heavy underwing armaments. Upgraded F-414 engines deliver 20% more thrust and better fuel efficiency, complementing an airframe life extension from 6,000 to 9,000 flight hours. Beyond Block 3, Australia is prioritizing long-range and hypersonic strike capabilities to project power across vast Indo-Pacific distances. Under the Seafire Agreement with the United States, the Royal Australian Air Force is integrating the hypersonic attack cruise missile into its Super Hornets, with trials scheduled from October 2024 to March 2027. This weapon, capable of hypersonic speeds, significantly enhances the fleet's ability to engage distant targets rapidly. Additionally, the AGM-158C long-range anti-ship missile and AGM-158B joint air-to-surface standoff missile extended range provide robust standoff strike options, critical for maritime and land-based operations. Interest in modified SM-6 missiles demonstrated during Ring RIMPAC 2024 suggests potential for versatile air-to-air -air and surface-to-air roles, further expanding the Super Hornet's mission flexibility. These weapons ensure the RAF can counter advanced threats, including China's J-20 fighters and H-6 bombers, in highly contested airspaces. Electronic warfare and countermeasures are also receiving significant attention. The ANALQ-24A-4 countermeasure system part of a $101.4 million foreign military sale in 2017, enhances protection against radar-guided threats. The acquisition of 32 multifunctional information distribution system joint tactical radio systems with four-channel concurrent multi-network capability improves secure communications and data sharing, ensuring seamless integration with allied forces. These upgrades are critical for joint operations in the Indo-Pacific, where interoperability with U.S. and partner platforms like the F-35A, P-8A Poseidon, and MQ-28A Ghost Bat is paramount. Speaking of the Ghost Bat, the Super Hornets are being equipped to support crewed autonomous teaming 
with this Boeing developed uncrewed platform enabling innovative tactics in contested environments through a collaborative US-Australia program. Sustainment efforts underpin the upgrade program, ensuring the fleet's longevity and readiness. In January 2024, Boeing Defense Australia secured a $600 million five-year contract extension, bringing the total sustainment contract value to $1.2 billion. This agreement, supporting over 350 local jobs, facilitates hardware and software enhancements every two years through the Air Combat Electronic Attack Sustainment Program, aligning with U.S. Navy spiral upgrades. The program extends the Super Hornet's airframe life to 10,000 hours, a significant leap from the original 6,000, ensuring operational viability into the 2040s. Early challenges in aligning Australian maintenance with U.S. systems have been resolved, with Boeing's support enhancing fleet availability and capability. Strategically, the upgrades reflect Australia's response to a shifting regional security environment. The 2024 Integrated Investment Program emphasizes a high-low capability mix, with the F-35A as the primary stealth fighter and the Super Hornet providing complementary multi-role flexibility. Investments, including $4.3 to $5.3 billion for the F-35A and $3.8 to $4.3 billion for the EA-18G Growler over the next decade, underscore a broader commitment to air combat dominance. The Super Hornet's extended service life, originally set for retirement by 2027, addresses delays in F-35A integration and ensures a robust force structure. However, challenges remain, including the potential for adversaries to counter IRS systems with advanced electronic warfare or low-heat engine designs, necessitating continuous innovation. The controversial $2.9 billion acquisition of the Super Hornets in 2007 criticized as a stopgap, highlights the need to balance cost with capability as investments continue. In conclusion, Australia's FA-18F Super Hornet upgrades represent a strategic effort to maintain a credible air combat capability through 2040. By integrating Block 3 features, hypersonic and long-range weapons, advanced countermeasures, and crude autonomous teaming, the RAF is enhancing the fleet's lethality, survivability, and interoperability. Supported by a robust sustainment program and aligned with U.S. Navy advancements, these upgrades position the Super Hornet as a vital asset alongside the F-35A and EA-18G Growler. As regional threats evolve, particularly from advanced Chinese platforms, the Royal Australian Air Force's investment ensures it can project power, deter aggression, and operate effectively in the Indo-Pacific's complex security landscape.